What is going on everybody? Hitmon Channing here back again with a new uh, Pokemon TCG video, but it's not TCG live. It's not tabletop. We're playing PTCG pocket today I moved all the way to New Zealand just for you guys so we could check this app together and see what's happening in it I got my handy dandy phone in my hand over here and um, I'm just gonna go right ahead and launch the game uh, this is a first impressions video because I literally have not launched this game I launched it to install the extra data. Oh, this is loud and now we're trying it out so this is uh, pretty cool. I really do love all the artwork they've been showing uh, of, of TCG Pocket. I really do wish that they were real cards, but nonetheless, it's time to give it a look and see what all the hype is about here. Choose an icon and name. We'll choose, can Hitmonchanning fit? I can, I can spell right. Who should I be? He's, he's so real for sure. Oh, we could open a pack. All right, so. I actually don't know a whole lot. I've been following the cards. I don't know what's like good or not. Um, let's go ahead and we'll just start opening Charizard. Mr. Charizard here. Um, we can like, ooh, we got something. Okay, so yeah, Luigi was telling me. You can take a peek at the cards and stuff. Charmander, Star, you Meowth, Pinsir, Executor EX. Oh my gosh. He's crazy. He is crazy. And now what? Oh, okay, they get registered like a Pokedex. You can see them all. All right, cool. It is pretty cool, though, because, like, the actual, like, 3D aspect of the card is intact when you're looking at it. And, like, the hollow foil and everything. Like, it is really nice, I won't lie. It is really, really cool. But, like, I'd love to be able to own this card in real. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's the only downside. I'm going to keep complaining about that, probably. <laughs> Missions. So, we got a nice little UI here. Tap on a mission to claim a reward. From what I've heard, this is filled with microtransactions, this game. So let's go for another Charizard. Oh, I guess we have to open Mewtwo. Okay. <laughs> let's pick. Oh, we get to pick. Let's grab this one. This has the one where we can go inside. I, I feel it. I feel it already. Let's give a little peek. Oh, we didn't get anything. Let's just cycle through. So nothing super crazy. Hack points. That's the, the one, like, downside is... I don't know, um, like, there's so many different types of currencies and stuff in this game. Yeah, like, what, what is happening here? Okay, I got Wonder Pick. Have to proceed. Feature, let's take a look at it. What does this do? Okay, you get it. Oh, I get to choose a card from someone that, uh, okay. So they get shuffled around and you just get a card, which is pretty cool. Let's pick this one. Is it the Charmander? Or maybe the Hitmonchan. Oh, it's the Charmander. I, I had a feeling it would be. <laughs> Getting you to the Shadow Realm, aka my Pokedex. All right, got him. I, I, I wanted the Hitmonchan though, cause like, you get it. All right, that's the end of the tutorial. That's it. Video's over. Just kidding. Keep watching. Daily gifts can be claimed in the shop. Let's see what we can claim here. Complimentary item set. You get like tickets. Okay, this is like the premium pass. Okay, so you have to still like put your credit card in, and uh, because because I moved to New Zealand for this video, none of my Canadian uh, credit cards I don't think work. So we're just not going to do that. Um, but I don't really want to spend money anyways on this game. Or premium main emblem special. I guess these are like sleeves and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of uh, different currencies. and, and that. Oh, you can actually just get item cards here too, which is nice. So if you need to. Yeah, but where do my, where are my daily gifts? Emblems. I have to find my daily gift for me to claim here. Oh, I guess I just didn't get anything. Okay. What's in my messages here? News. Nothing relevant, I'm guessing. Let's go ahead and some packs here. Let's get some more. Let's get a Charizard pack going. I don't know what's good, like I said, from this. So I'm just going to open stuff and see. I saw like Jake Gearhart posted a video or a picture on Twitter of some pretty cool um, Venusaur EX deck. Oh, we got Do The Wave in here. Yo, yo, we got Do The Wave. Okay, next. All right. We add them. Okay. So you got to go through this whole kind of thing every single time. I think I'm able to open another one. So I do want, I'm gonna just keep trying to see what I get. Our hits haven't been fantastic as of now. Ooh, spin it around? Yeah. And open from the back? Ooh. Okay, we got him. Oh, I have to flip it. No. Better reveal style here. Rattata. Last one? Farfetched. Farfetched looks sick. I wanna build a Farfetch deck. 40 for one? Seems crazy. Skip this like little animation thing now. Put on a stamina. Let's try recovering some stamina with hourglasses. Tap open a pack button. Okay, so you need to use 12 hourglasses to open a pack. Right, boost pack opening time. Gotcha. Um, 
All right, this one I want to get the Charizard where we can like go inside of him. You know, I really, I really want to get that one. This is it. We've got a Charmander, nice. Abra is huge, and we got we got Grap locked. I can pull him to the bench. All right, that card seems pretty sick too. Not gonna lie. A lot of these cards, like, I'm very interested and excited to have a format of playing the Pokemon TCG where it's to, like, two-hit KOing. Um, so, because now it's just one-hit KO. Like, I've been playing a lot of Raging Bolt, and I've just been one-hit KOing every, everything. I can't battle yet. How do I how do I level up? I want to battle. That's, like, the whole purpose of this video. Give you cards. Okay, what's this? Social Hub. Community Showcases. I can see... Okay, people people be showing, be showing their stuff. Dang. So if we go back to the home screen, missions, missions. Okay, I think that's where I like, this mission does not have any reward. Then what's the point of it? Does this get me like another pack? Oh, it does, it gets me three pack hourglasses when I do this, okay. Okay, so you can, all right. So if I go here, I can exchange points. Okay, interesting. Okay, I guess Venusaur is in here too. Let's check out some of the cards here. Can It won't even let me look at them. I wanna see the card. That's cringe. Okay, let's let's wonder pick. Chance of getting something cool. Doesn't really look like it. This one I can potentially get the Charizard, so let's try and wonder pick this. Hopefully we get the Charizard. That would be sick. Dang. Got a grab block. And I think you can only get two copies of each card. I think that's the thing. Oh, okay, we can do another wonder pick and then we can level up so then we can battle. Thanks, Ward. You're by goat. Alright, let's do another wonder pick here. There's an Electros. Let's do one that just has one. Yeah, just a one star one, so we can maybe do another one. I wanna level up. I wanna be I wanna be leveling up. So we can give me this far fetched. I kinda want the far fetched here. It's a woo bet. He's a happy little guy. Alright, we did that. Goodbye, goodbye. Skip, skip, skip. I got you. Thank you for the woo bet. Go our missions here. Oh dang, we get more hourglasses. <laughs> it's time. It's time. Get dripped. Oh, there's a complete all button. I should have done that. Beginner missions, I can complete this. Whatever that is, a gold hourglass. Okay. Now, pack tokens, right? Or pack hourglasses. Let's open more Charizard. Open an hourglass. So I can open two more, and then hopefully that'll let us make a deck, and it'll let us battle. But maybe they chose right for us. Ooh, Rapidash. Oh, very nice artwork. Tangla and Swana. Okay, we did level up. Got some pack points, so we can exchange for specific cards, which is really nice. This game does have kind of a weird economy, but it's interesting because like you have to open, let's open another one. You have to open packs to buy cards with points. So it is a lot about the pack opening experience, which is actually really neat to see. Um, and I actually, I do like this. So I'm excited to see like all the expansions and stuff they're gonna come up with for this game, especially when it releases globally. I mean, the game is pretty fun so far. We leveled up to level three, so we can battle. Complete all, we can open more packs. We're just opening like a ton today. Gengar, I got Foy Coco, I got Eevee. Just the Poco, the Poco phone. Now I can open more packs. So let's open another Charizard. Let's try and get one more, one more pull. This one's gonna be a banger. Let's, let's go for it. Let's see what we can get. Cause I think it's a two packs per day is kind of what you're supposed to do without microtransactions. Starmie looks good too, one for 40. Ninetales not bad. Two for 90, it's pretty solid. That's like a nice two hit. All right, so we got more cards, 43. We're getting up there. Send all these guys into the deck. And we we have so many coins, we can just open another one. But let's let's go for a battle. Checking out the rules and the guide. But I don't wanna. Oh, I have to like do these missions? Oh, okay. Oh, I have to like, oh, okay. Yeah, we know all this, we know all this. Cause we're, you and I were seasoned veterans. Through all, I think I have to go through all of these. Okay, so I'll do this and I'll, I'll yap to you guys. Um, prepare for battle. I want to put a Pika Pikachu. Yeah, got Eevee. Funky, like vibrates. Does it matter where they go? You can go in the middle, Eevee. Start the battle. All right, now I'm ready. Was that the whole tutorial? This is very like tedious. <laughs> like, why do I? Why do I gotta do all this? Like, you like it couldn't be one tutorial. It has to be a bunch. So, for those that don't know the rules of the game here, it's 20 card decks. Energy are not included. They're on the energy zone. You get one energy added to the zone per turn. On your first turn, you can't attach an energy, I don't think, unless you're going second. Um, and instead of prize cards, it's points. So you need to take three points, which is one point per knockout. EXs are worth two points instead of two prize cards. It's the basic gist of it. There are trainers, but they're very toned back. Like, Professor's Research, it just draws two cards. 
um, which is kind of busted. We get to play a Pokemon. You can still evolve. You can still do all the other regular stuff um, here. So we drew Mr. Pikachu. We've got an energy, so we can play this card. We'll play him in the middle here. I got. I. 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 I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not going to lie to you. Um, this is very, uh, very good UI, and it looks very nice. You know uh, what game has a little bit of trouble with good UI and looking nice? Get Mr. Bulbasaur. We don't need you, Bulbasaur. I'm just gonna nah. Goodbye. Um, yeah, this game is is technically not beta, but it's like early access. This game looks is looking and feeling great. My phone's getting a little toasty, I, I will admit, but I am recording on it at the same time. Like it's internal, it's not hooked up to my computer, so that is uh, kind of fine. There's a tutorial for ending my turn. Are we are we being for real here? This is a tutorial to hit the end turn button. But you know what? I do have to give some sort of credit. Like I get it. I get why it's so in depth because this is designed for casual fans of Pokemon cards, just so you can tap tap and kind of do your thing. Let's try a battle. It's probably gonna make me battle against the AI. Oh, we get to make a deck. Oh no, we don't get to make a deck. It just forces us. So you can auto battle? Okay, let's battle. Let's see how an actual game of PTCG Pocket goes down. Yo, opponent. Going first, okay. There's an auto battle button, which is so funny to me. Oh, this Scyther seems broken. One for 30? I'm ready to start. Let's do it. All right, it's my turn. Pinsir. Can't attach an energy, but I'll put down Pinsir. Pokeball searches for a basic, random basic Pokemon. Put it into your hand. Sure, let's do this. Rattata, so it just gives you a dude. Let's throw Pidgey down. And that's pretty good for now, okay. So yeah, no energy on your first turn. They can't attach an energy. This feels weird at the bottom, I won't lie. This is a bit strange, like having to like, you have to move them up and then hold. You can't just like tap a card. I don't know, seems a bit weird. They're gonna blot me for 10. Uh, no, you ain't. We get another Rattata, attach here. And I just want a Sharp Scythe. I just want to spam Sharp Scythe all the way home. And obviously not a whole ton of strategy for this ga like game. Oh, we're getting blotted again. No, they heal 10 though. Yo, this is tragic. This is tragic. This is tragic. We get a Cottony. Like I'm just spamming energy attack, energy attack. It's not like super in depth. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Blot again. I guess there's a, a little bit, and I, I know this will improve over time. Like the game will continue to get better and better. Okay, we got Eradicate. So now a bench of Rattata, Pincer, and we'll Sharp Scythe. We'll get our first point. So we don't get a prize card. We just get a point. All right, there we go. So that's pretty solid. Big Puff is coming up. They're going to prep their Rattata. I'll prep my Eradicate. They're taking us to Pound Town. Okay. We got a Paris here. Eradicate. What does Pincer do? 50 for each heads. Okay, so we'll evolve to eradicate. We can honestly just retreat this Scyther. Like, I don't like how it's like tapping and then pressing and dragging at different points. There we go. Big bite on the eradicate here. Um, yeah, I'm not a, fan, a huge fan of that because it seems like a little counterintuitive because it's a lot of pressing and holding and then dragging. Um, we'll attach an energy to Mr. Scyther. And we'll just bite this Jigglypuff once again. Um, here, I expect them to evolve to eradicate and do something crazy. Oh no, they're just, they're maybe non? All right, GG's, bro. GG's. What do we get here? Get research. How do I play it? Okay, I gotta drag it up there. Draw two Jigglypuff and Whimsicott. Well, just for good measure. And we'll bite. Get smoked. Easy peasy. And there we go. That's the game. So pretty simple. It's hard for me to like give in-depth commentary <laughs> about this because there's not much in-depth I can say. So here there's like different rewards and stuff. Battle tasks, knockout opponents. One time with an attack from a fire type Pokemon, but I only have grass type Pokemon. It takes a bit of getting used to to find where everything is, but but it is pretty good. Now we got a ton of hourglasses and we get whatever this is and we get whatever these are. And now we can go open some packs. Let's open a few more packs. Huge pickup. I want, because I want to try and make a Charizard deck, right? Woo! 